programming the quadratic formula. The quadratic formula is very useful for finding solutions to quadratic equations, but it has many components and signs that give chances to make errors. A great feature of your TI-83 or TI-84 series calculator is that you can write a program for the quadratic formula to use it faster and without nearly as many opportunities for mistakes. Start by pressing the program key, PRGM. You may have a list of programs here already like this, or have no programs installed on the calculator yet. Arrow twice to the right to get to the New menu. Press the Enter key at the bottom of the calculator. You should see the blinking cursor with Alpha A highlighted. Enter a program name using the letters above and to the right of the keys. It has to be a name with eight characters or less. Roots might be a good name. Press Enter. The blinking cursor after the colon is inviting you to start inputting the program code. Press the program key. Arrow once to the right to get to the input-output commands. Since input is highlighted and we want to use input, press Enter. Enter a quotation mark by pressing the alpha key, then the plus key on the right side of the calculator. Make the letter A by pressing the alpha key, then the math key. Go to the test menu by pressing the second key, then the math key. Since the equal sign choice is highlighted, press Enter. Enter a space by pressing Alpha, then the zero key at the bottom of the keypad. Enter the second quotation mark by pressing Alpha, then the plus key. Press the comma key just above the seven key. Make an A by pressing the Alpha key, then the math key. Go to the next line of code by pressing Enter. Press the program key. Arrow once to the right for the input-output menu. Press Enter. Place a quotation mark by pressing Alpha, then the plus key. Place the letter B by pressing Alpha, then the Apps key, just to the right of the Math key. Go to the Test menu by pressing Second, then Math. Press Enter. Make a space by pressing Alpha, then the Zero key. Make the right quotation mark by pressing Alpha, then the plus key. Press the comma key. Create the B character by pressing Alpha, then the Apps key. Start the third line of code by pressing Enter. Press the Program key. Arrow once to the right for the Input-Output menu. Press Enter. Make a quotation mark by pressing Alpha, then the Plus key. Make the letter C by pressing Alpha, then the Program key. Go to the Test menu by pressing Second, then the Math key. Press Enter. Make a space by pressing the Alpha key, then the Zero key at the bottom. Make the right quotation mark by pressing Alpha, then the Plus key. Press the Comma key. Create C by pressing the Alpha key, then the Program key. Go to the next line of code by pressing the Enter key. Press the Program key. Arrow once to the right to the Input-Output menu. Arrow down to 3, Display. Press Enter. Prepare to enter a string of text by pressing second, then the alpha key. Enter the text as follows. The roots are. Press the alpha key to unlock alpha mode. Press the comma key. Enter the expression for one of the roots of the quadratic formula as shown here. Open parentheses, negative b, plus square root of b squared minus 4ac, close, double parentheses, divide, open parentheses, 2a, close parentheses. Enter a comma. Enter the word and in quotation marks. Enter a comma. Enter the second root as shown, open parentheses, negative b, minus square root of b squared, minus 4ac, close double parentheses, divide, open parentheses, 2a, close parentheses. Congratulations! You have written your program to calculate roots or solutions of quadratic equations. Before moving on to the section that demonstrates the use of the program, I want to issue a word of caution. The previous versions I have made of this improved video have now been seen over 110,000 times 
to and receive a claim for its accuracy and clarity, but occasionally people will claim that the program doesn't work. A lot of time, it doesn't work because of these two different symbols, the minus sign and the negative sign. Be sure to get these signs straight, and the program should work. You can get out of programming mode by pressing the second key, then the mode key next to it that accesses quit. Let's use the program. Pick out a quadratic equation in standard form such as this one, x squared plus 4x minus 45 equals 0. For this equation in standard form, a equals 1, b equals 4, and c equals negative 45. Press the program key. And here you see your program. On this calculator it's program 4, roots. Choose the program by arrowing down to it and pressing enter or just press the number of the program. Press enter. Put in 1 for A, then press enter. Put in 4 for B, then press enter. Put in negative 45 for C. Press enter. The solutions are 5 and negative 9. You can easily graph the equation as a function to see if you get the same answer. Let's try this one. Negative x squared minus 3x minus 4 equals 0. For this equation, a equals negative 1, b equals negative 3, and c equals negative 4. Enter negative 1 for a, negative 3 for b, and negative 4 for c in the program. Press enter. This error message response, non-real answer, means no real solutions. For there to be no real solutions, the discriminant, which is b squared minus 4ac, must be a negative number. We can check by graphing. Enter the equation in the y equals menu. Press the graph key. We see that the curve does not touch the x-axis. So there is no real solution, just as the program told us. One thing we can do is change the mode of this calculator, find the value of the complex numbers. We press the mode key. We see here on the number type line that real numbers is chosen out of the three options. We need to change from the real number mode, real, to the complex number mode, A plus BI. And with the arrow keys, we go to it and press enter so it's highlighted. We go back to our program and enter negative 1 for A, negative 3 for B, and negative 4 for C. Press enter. We get the complex numbers, negative 1.5 minus approximately 1.32i, and negative 1.5 plus approximately 1.32i. I say approximately because this number, 1.32287565, etc., is an irrational number which uh, for their decimal places will only more closely approximate. We cannot see the italic i at the end of this term. In order to see the i's, I had to go back to mode menu and change the number decimal places from float to 2. And with the decimal places changed to two decimal places in mode, this is how the complex number solutions appear. This time, with the imaginary portion of the irrational number rounded to two decimal places, negative positive 1.32 with the italic I visible at the end of it. Keep on using this program. You can make changes to it if you would like. Keep on learning. This has been Programming the Quadratic Formula. Thanks for viewing.